right here, that scramble. That's going to set us up for Mr. Aquaman versus Scar. Now, Mr. Aquaman also, you know, played Injustice as well as MK9, I believe. But Injustice, he he didn't play Aquaman. I know. What a fraud. I'm going to call him out right here on being a fraud. Your name has, His name has been Mr. Aquaman since Mortal Kombat 9 days. And he doesn't play Aquaman when he gets a character. He gets Aquaman in the game that he mains. Right? That is impressive. But, no, no. Really, though, he was a great Ares player, and he's... Great in this game. He, I guess he likes one of the few that gods. stayed with war Ares. gods. Yeah, so he's going with Kotal Khan, and he. I don't know. I've only seen him play War God. Same here, but most of the Kotal players tend to play all variations. I'm assuming he can play all the variations. I just think he's most comfortable. Or his favorite is War God. I do feel like we will be seeing War God because the d extra defense that War God grants in having armor and having a little more space control right, will especially probably be Sonya. really good against Sonya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yaha. He's thinking about it. Watching his matches were so fun, though, when he was playing Jupiter, because, like, Jupiter would do something and be like, oh, man, that was so sick. That's why he's a top player. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> he's, like, trash-talking himself for his opponent. He's really honest, though. A very, very strong, awesome individual, Mr. Aquaman. I'm a fan. I hope he does well here, but he has to get through the wall that has been Scar for most of the season. I mean, we've seen it over and over again. It's always Scar versus Sonic Fox, aside from basically the last week. I feel like there was Just one go more with week, it. but okay, yeah. That's for the most part, you know what I'm saying. That has definitely been a recurring Yo, back theme. me up, fam. We're supposed to be a team. <laughs> hey, you leave me hanging all the time. Yeah, but that's because you deserve it. That's fair, that's fair. Fight. All right, so we are going to see War God versus Demolition. That's pretty much what we expected here. No surprise picks. Of course, Scar always goes with Hidden Select every single time. <laughs> and it always sends a big demo. <laughs> There's no mind game there, my dude. I mean, there are a few times where he does go, end up going covert ops, but regardless, it's just maybe it's just a mental thing. But that, knowing that your opponent is willing to go Hidden Select shows how serious they are. And, and Aquaman is just not able to get out of this pressure and these mix-ups. Right back in the corner. Aquaman getting a little bit here, but Try, yeah, trying to get something started, but Scar very dominating first round. I wonder what Aquaman say. I, I wish I, I had like a mic. <laughs> Just mic all the players. Just Great. Aquaman, dude. Just him. I really like watching Aquaman play. That's true. I like his stream, watching him. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. got like a, an interesting, like kind of close-up camera angle on himself, and he's always just like, he's like, yeah, he gets so pumped. He is. I dig it. But right now, I mean, it's not looking good for Mr. Aquaman at all. Oh my goodness. Wow, that hits so low. Yeah, he's gonna be doing something. Uh, uh, uh. Moving forward, nice. Gets a confirm off the forward. One back two, and here we go. Nice little combo with the setup, but beautiful usage of the interactable there. That was absolutely perfect. He got right over that sword. And wow, that was a lot of damage really quickly oh, by yeah. Mr. Aquaman. Aquaman trying to make a comeback. That's it. Stop. Nice. But Scar with the three bars, the full stick of butter. Only one grenade, though. He's going to need to find a situation to reload here. Again, if Demolition gets caught with no grenades, that, that is for him, so though. tough. We've seen him x-ray before in matches as well. It's true. But he's not going to do it right now. Using it for the arc kick. An arc kick generally gives him a free reload, but the fact that he put himself in the corner with that mean, meant that it was unsafe. Scar just holding onto that grenade. Nice usage of interactable. Oh, and he's... Comp oh, that was not safe. Good punish by Mr. Aquaman. Could have got a little bit more with meter, but still is going to put Sonya in the corner. Oh, ooh, baits the wake up. Unfortunately, gets tagged by jumping, though. It recovers so fast that... Scar just knew to swing afterwards. Ooh, oh, I like pressure. those little the staggers. Oh, that's so much damage. Mr. Aquaman 17%. is so close. Oh no, he's, he's just, just trying to get away. Things. Oh no, and his bar is gone. Trying to build another one back. Just down two to disrespect that would work, but this might do it. Wait a Ooh, second, no, it's out. not gonna do it. And he's using two oh. bars. Beautiful. <laughs> Wow, that was. There were so many grenades on screen within yeah. the last 10 seconds of that match. And that, that that's kind of unfortunate for Scar because he burned all of his meter to try to do the tri grenade setup and none of them worked. Aquaman was able to jump out or just escape it altogether. And that was most likely really good matchup knowledge because you can disrespect pretty much every single one of those setups unless you're being hit by the normal first. Yeah. 
If you block it, you can disrespect all of those grenade setups, especially with the change where they blow up faster. And that's what's so surprising was Scar was so willing to just throw them out. Maybe he was testing Aquaman's matchup knowledge, but again, Aquaman did say in his Trash Talk video that he knows the Sony matchup. That is true. I, I actually don't know what Sonya's he plays against. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody that's really obvious, but uh, shout out to whoever his training partner is because he's clearly learned. Yeah, I mean, he did not show at any point that he was, you know, going to be surprised by anything in this matchup. Of course, even knowing the matchup, Demolition Sonya is a terrifying character. And she, oh, yeah. just guessing wrong means that she gets so much damage, gets you into more mix ups. And that's meterless damage. Oh, I yeah. Point out. Yeah, and she, then she gets to save that meter for either EX Art Kick, which gets her more reloads, or X Ray, which gets her infinite damage. Or <laughs> I to say. Yeah, set up for more grenades. Yeah, which, which we saw right there. Just burn it all at the end. That should be the kill here. Oh, no. Just takes the reload. That's and he's smart. just building bar. Very smart. Smart by both players there. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, Scar recognized it. He's like, I'm just going to blast him. He's going to build bar. I can't stop him. So. Yeah, but also choosing not to get the kill at the end of that combo and instead just reloading and knowing that he had enough of a life lead that just reloading right there won't, wouldn't do anything to hurt him. Unfortunate, and he is going to eat those grenades, but not too much. Unfortunately, Scar did get more grenades. He gets caught trying to down one. Nice air to air. Scar is so on point with those. He has. He's been winning. He, I think he has won literally every oh single air. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what is this? Wow. He ran full screen to get that conversion, and he got into the brutality. That was <laughs> so sick. There you go. That's uh. That's just one of those things that you need to know how to do if you play a character and playing a character so much like Scar does just plays so much demo Sonya knew how to get that perfect conversion off of that. And if you're gonna if you're gonna lose the first set, I'd say that's a pretty darn good way of coming back the next set. Yeah, and another thing that he did was he adapted he saw that Mr. Aquaman was disrespecting a lot of those enhanced reload setups, which is where she drops the three grenades. And he changed up how he was using it. So Mr. Aquaman actually got hit by two in that final round alone. Where in the first game he didn't get hit by any. Mm -hmm. Changes the pace of the matchup. A lot. Ooh, oh, and now Scar's out That's of grenades. A lot of no, 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 you gotta go in. Aquaman, oh, you should know this. Oh, and this is gonna be a really tough spot for Scar. Oh, nope. Not anymore. There. Oh, no, didn't, oh, no, he didn't get it out. I and think he a, messed that up. Yeah, I think it was I, an I saw the trap. Mm -hmm. that, sometimes that what happens. Oh. Here. I'm surprised you're not going crazy right now. <laughs> Yeah, Scar has actually been doing standing one anti-airs for a really, really long time with Sony, and he's so good with it. Free nice. reload. Nice use of armor there. There's a lot of plus frames on his sword throw. Ooh, very nice. He actually, part of that string whiffed, and he armored through it. That was interesting. I'm actually kind of surprised that Aquaman didn't throw him towards the corner. I know he wanted the hard setup with the sword throw, but it wasn't worth it, because now... Never mind. I'm so glad. Ah, <laughs> I, I avoided the commentator's curse. You, you, yeah, you almost did. And that throw is, I've said it before, the most advantageous throw in the game. That should be the kill right there. It is. I'm surprised Mr. Aquaman managed to bring that back. But I am too. That's kind of been the story of how he's won all of his rounds so far. He plays very, very patient, blocks a lot of the mix-ups, and he takes a lot of damage every time that he gets an opening. Oh, and he took the risk, but it didn't pay off. Actually, the fact that that grenade was there meant that Scar got less of a punish than he normally would. And that's going to break armor. Yeah, one of the strongest advantages. Oh, what a Sony. confirm. Wow, that was great. Oh. What a wake up. My goodness, these players are slugging it out in that left corner. Just about chip life here. Yeah, and Aquaman let go of block just delayed wake up. At that point, there's nothing he can do. Good choice. Wow, just barely getting over that grenade. That could have been a really juicy down two opportunity for Aquaman, but not going for it now. Oh, just getting hit. And Scar is out of grenades. He's going to try to get and him out. And out of meter. There's no good way for him to build or to get back oh. grenades now. Aquaman needs to be careful that he doesn't overcommit because every time he's trying to chase down Scar without grenades. Oh, beautiful backdash through the multi-hitting so projectile. That was a very, very well-timed backdash. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Too. Yeah. If that was in the Still corner, no that grenades have worked. from Scar, though. Oh, and there it is. He should be. Oh, oh misses the punish. That was a huge opportunity for he Mr. Aquaman. He could have actually just taken the kill there if he had managed to hit that. 
Still very close. That should be a safe jump yeah, set. That's up. gonna do it. Mr. Aquaman, very nice. Dude, disco dance. Yo, my man is probably so hyped right now. Like, I know. Let's go. But he still has to win one more game, and we've seen Scar unfortunately come back from worse. Oh, we we have Scar against our boy against the oh, yeah, salt face, times. the heartbreaker. There Don't bring that up, man. I almost, I almost managed to get that out of my memory. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see Saltface in top eight this week. I, I don't even believe I don't he, think entered. he entered. I um, entered. I'm assuming he's probably just working or something real life. I hope he's all right. Shout out to uh, you, Mr. Saltface. I hope you come back next week strong. Yeah. Uh, he was one of our most. He still is one of our most consistent players this season. He's one of our favorites to watch as well. Oh yeah. Molina, because he uses Ethereal and Ravenous, mostly Ethereal, is so fun to watch. Ethereal is really cool, and his is so incredible. One of the only Ethereals that I've ever seen. Play. Whoa! Oh, Scar always does this to us. He throws us for a loop. The first time he picked. Uh, Conjure Alien, and now he's going with Smoke, Cyber Smoke. And of course, we saw him play Hat Trick Lao for the comeback. Yeah, like what two. is it with Scar and his crazy characters? Just going for it. So this should be interesting. Smoke is a character that we haven't seen yet in ESL on any ESL At broadcast all. ever. We haven't seen really any of the Triborgs. Or, yeah, or yeah. Quad Borgs, I guess quad you could call it. Now, this is going to be tough because Smoke has infamously. Big gaps. I guess I shouldn't say big, but they're very obvious gaps within his strings into specials. Right. So the fact that Mr. Aquaman has launching armor could be really dangerous. But he is here. also tearing through smoke right now. The thing is, though, of the Triborgs, smoke has the best mids. Wow, that, that was really that was a really fast round. But listen to listen to this audio when Kotal hits smoke on block. Bing bong bong is so good. <laughs> is it really? Listen. All I hear is the hits on hit. My. <laughs> Too loud. <laughs> no, you're supposed to hit him, Mr. Aquaman. I'm trying to prove a point here. All right, so we're going to be in a vortex situation here. Oh, it doesn't go for the vortex. Just oh, bait something out. That was weird for Mr. Aquaman, the anti-air meter burn. It may have been a mistake. Ooh, Mr. Aquaman disrespecting the setup. Oh, just smoke everywhere. Nice tech. Here it is. Oh, no! He hasn't hit. He's, he hasn't blocked <laughs> once since you said that. Don't impress me. You don't impress me. Again! Do it. Oh, it is! It's like bing, bong, bing. It's like he's punching a trash can. Oh, he could have gotten the full combo and the kill there, but instead he just gets a knockdown. Oh, this is very close, Mr. Aquaman. Gonna close it out against Scar. And uh, can he do it? Scar does have the meter to smoke Another up. grab! That's it! That's it. Two upsets! Two upsets this week in top eight. We had Yomi beat... Sonic Fox, and now Mr. Aquaman cleanly beating Banana Scar. Come on. And normally when we have players for the first time in top eight, they don't manage to really make that big of a dent a yeah. lot of the time. But Mr. Aquaman beating one of the favorites to qualify for finals very cleanly. That was extremely good play. He did show, he said, you know, he said in his Trash Talk video, he also broke the Trash Talk curse. But he, he said, did. he said, I am not going to fall for any of your tricks. And he did not fall for any of his tricks. Such solid play. And I love the fact that it was so much based on his patience. His patience and his ability to take advantage of situations. <laughs> look at that down, down four combo. Oh, so good. That was definitely. Look at this, he actually, look at this. Throws it, down four, and then they connect. Yeah. That was nice. So, if you guys, which I know everyone is really loving these matches. Except for Scar. <laughs> Except for Scar, right? Uh, I'm just kidding. Great showing by Scar, of course. Getting that backdash. Getting top eight is going to give him 25 points, which just further increases his chance to make finals. That's, that's a lot. 25 points is a lot, believe it or not. I mean, just making it into this top eight gives you so much. So, I think there's still a really good chance that we're going to see Scar in finals. Yeah, and that's actually going to set us up for our semifinals, which our first match is going to be Slayer, Slayer. versus Dragon. Oh, the rematch from last and week. And then we have Forever King versus Mr. Aquaman. Crazy stuff. Oh, we might see a Kotal Mirror. We might see a Kotal Mirror. So as exciting as all of these matches are, watching from home, why not watch it? from the finals here, live in Burbank. There's Jen, tell us no about reason. this. How can these people get tickets? That's right, tickets are now available for the MKX Pro League Season 3 Finals. The best players from the Americas, Europe, and CIS will be competing in a 16-man 
Double Elimination Bracket live in uh, Burbank Studios here at Surreal Studios. Sorry about that. Uh, Burbank, California, Surreal Studios. Um, our attendees will receive a one-of-a-kind event t-shirt, food, and of course entrance into the after party. We have lots of swag and surprises for our fans, so make sure you go to mkx3.eventbrite.com and get your tickets today. Don't miss out on this event. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Jen. So, there it is. Okay, so far this has actually been my favorite week. Uh, it's been one of my favorite weeks. And favorite week. It it could build up to be my favorite week too. Favorite week. Okay, okay. It's your favorite week. You can take it, man. <laughs> All right, so that's going to set us up for the semifinals. Don't go anywhere. The ESL MKX Pro League 